This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. Yes, you're going to get the tension of pay uh, layover. I can explain in routine step by step once I see your CDL so I can send to my uh, insurance agent so he can check you. So let's start from the you know beginning to not go past the three steps uh, to explain you all the job. And then if uh, our agent is going to say like, oh, we cannot hire this guy because he has a lot of violation or whatever. Uh, Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at Star Logistics out of Washington State, I believe she said. With this company, I tried to look it up and try to find where this company is at. I just couldn't find anything definitive on the web I, I looked everywhere. Only place that I found it at was in Facebook, but that pretty much didn't give me much information either. Red Star Logistics is out of Washington State, as she said, but there is another Red Star Logistics that is out of Canada. So you got to make sure you don't get the two confused because Red Star Logistics LLC is the one who we are going to be talking to today. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm calling to ask about the position that you guys is advertising in the uh, Facebook group or Facebook page. Gotcha. Uh, you've been a truck driver before? You just have experience on it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seven years. Uh. I'm curious to know you you guys saying that you uh, looking for a driver up to seventy cent. What 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 does that entails and how much is it to come uh, out? What's the cent per mile coming in? So first of all, I have to check uh, your uh, record to see how clean is your driver license. First of all, second thing is I have to see from where you are, where you're living there, which state. When this came across my my feed, I was pretty much interested in seeing what what you guys mean by up to seventy uh, up to seventy cent. Because right now, the company that I'm driving for, I'm doing about sixty five sixty five cent. So, what's the you know you guys are saying up to seventy? So what what am I starting when I'm coming in with seven years of experience? So, how I said before, to start telling you like how much you're gonna have, I have to check your record uh, to see which company you was working before, um, and then to see how long you've been working for those companies, and to check your record first. So, um, okay, see, what you I have in the last two years. Well, I can give you a ballpark on that. I only been with four companies in the last seven years. The gotcha. current, the current, um, comp the current company that I'm with. The current company that I'm with now, I'm in my third year with the current company. Mm hmm Gotcha. Perfect. And do you have, I mean, is your record clean? Do you have any inspection, any, any violation on your records for the no. last three years? No. Sir, no any? Okay, gotcha. Perfect. So we are doing reefers. Are you interested in the reefer position? Okay. Re uh well, let me ask you this: as far as as far as reefer goes, do do I get paid detention? Because with reefer loads, there's you know different times and different wait times and stuff like that. So, do I get paid detention or layover? Yes, you're gonna get detention or pay a layover. I can explain in routine step by step once I see your CDO, so I can send to my insurance agent, so he can check you. So let's start from the you know beginning to not go past the three steps uh, to explain you all the job. And then if uh, our agent is going to say like, oh, we cannot hire this guy because he has a lot of violation or whatever, uh, you know. Okay. So let's well, do like is that. This, so, let, so let me ask you this. Is this is this like an owner op job or is this like a or you or is this like a fleet? Like, what's the name of the company? Is because you, it, there's no name of the company in the in the Facebook post. Oh, uh, company Red Star. I'm sorry. What is the it? The color red. The color red. Red Star Logistics. Red 
Red Star Logistics? Yep, LLC. Oh, okay, so Red Star Logistics, LLC. Yep. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, all right, so for pre-employment um, uh, drug screening, what do you guys require, uh, urine or hair follicle or both? Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Um, what, what are you looking for? I no. I said when y'all do the for me to come in for the drug screening and everything. Do y'all do hair follicles or is it urine or do you do both of them? We do both. Y'all do both of them: the hair follicle and uh, urine. Yeah. Okay. What about uh? What 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 about sap? Uh, do you guys take SAP drivers or no? No. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so this isn't a 1099 deal, right? This is a, a company W2 position that I will be, I will be taking, right? No, we like, no, we're going to pay like 1099. Oh, so it is a 1099. Yeah, this is a 1099. It's not W2. Okay. So. Am I responsible for any payments on the truck or fuel or anything like that? No, you're going to be as a driver. You're not going to be responsible of the fuel or uh, anything because you're going to be as a truck driver and not on the truck. Okay, but I, I will be a company driver, but it will be 1099, uh, yeah. 1099 deal. So I, I that means I would have to be responsible for my own benefits, but, my own health insurance yeah. and stuff you're like that. Paid, yes, you're going to be paid uh, the full uh, your miles every weekly, like weekly, but end of the year, you have to take care of your uh, tax. Okay, okay. Um, would the mm -hmm. would the loads that I'll be, the, the, the reefer loads that I'll be, that I'll be driving, would that be up in the up in the Washington State area that I'll be driving, or would I be driving, or would I be considered an over the road driver? You're gonna be over the road driver. You're gonna be more. Um, you're gonna drive all the states, so basically. Okay, but of course I need to. You, but you only hiring out of Washington State, though, right? Because our company is in Washington State, so basically you're gonna come to Washington. Let's say like once in a two or three weeks uh, to our yard, take the truck and all the stuff. And mostly like we're always sending the trucks to Washington. Um, oh, okay. Let's say, yeah, and like for oil change or everything, but we do have our shop here. So uh, you're going to be uh, more often in Washington. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so my time off, How how much... How much home time that I could be looking at with you guys? I mean, usually our driver is like three weeks on the road and max one week home. Okay. Is that one? Okay. Okay. Well, being that this is 1099, I don't, I'm assuming it's not being paid. Um, okay. Okay. Um, uh, now you say these is reefer loads that I'll be taking. Um, would, can you give me an idea of like what type of reefer freight I'll be taking? Like, is it like Walmart? Is it like Tyson or, or is it different places that I'll be going to? Cause I'm, I'm familiar you're with gonna, Walmart. Gonna, oh, you're, okay. So you're the truck driver of seven years experience. And I, I don't know if you got experience on reefer, but you're yeah. going to go. Yeah, I do. The, I do. I, mean, I, I do. I, yeah. We're not gonna like tell you like, oh, we're not we're going to Walmart. No, if you do have a load that it has to be delivered at the Walmart, you have to go to Walmart to get delivered. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Um. All right. Cool. Um. Well. I, well, let me ask you another question because I I do have you know I have grandkids and I do have a dog. So what's what's your pet and rider policy and how and how young can I have my kid on the truck? So basically, honestly, we're not, um, we're really strict. We don't looking for a dog or a cat inside of the truck because after that we have to clean and 
Uh, it's a lot of stuff to work. We do have a couple of drivers before that they were driving with their dog. So after that, they they just, our truck was very, very dirty. We're supposed to make it super, super clean. Uh, we trying to avoid uh, dogs in a truck. Okay. What, a, what about the rider? Uh, can can I bury my grandkid? And if so, how, how young can I bring them? So a little like that because um, it's a good question. So because uh, I really I have a bunch of call phones in front of you guys. I just put them on hold. So let's do like that. If you're interesting, send me your CDL. So let me see if uh, our insurance can hire you. And if yes, for sure, I can give you a call back. If that works for you. All right, that yeah, that's that's fine. But can I ask you one more question about the truck? What what are they are they governed? And if so, what's what's they governed at? And what kind of truck is it? We do have a truck 22, 20, 23, Freeliner International. All of them are uh, almost brand new. What's what's their governing that? What they what? I'm sorry. Govern. What's what's the what's the speed limit of the truck? Oh, I see. Uh, sorry. Um, I guess they're close on the seventy four. If I'm not wrong, sometimes they're seventy two. Uh, if I'm not wrong on the um, uh, on the pedal, they should be seventy five or seventy four. And um, if you're gonna turn the cruise control, it's gonna be seventy two. All right. Cool. Awesome. Um. Can you tell me the name again so I can so so I can look you up on the on on the uh, on the website? What you say red? Sure. Red. I'm sorry, red, what is it? Uh, red, the color red. Mm hmm Red star. Red Star Logistics. Logistics. Yep, LLC. LLC. All right, cool. Um, I tell you what, I'll go ahead and uh do a little bit more research. I appreciate the time. And uh, if everything looks uh, looks all right to me, I'll we I'll I'll go uh, give you a call back and we'll go from there. How's that? Sure. Yeah, that works for me too. All right. Awesome. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. All right. You safe. Red Star Logistics, everybody. Red Star, the color red, Star Logistics, company I found in the Facebook, uh, one of the Facebook groups, they posted a, a job posting. They say they're hiring up to 70 cent per mile. She couldn't come out and give me a definitive amount of how much they're starting that. But by the sounds of it, I'm assuming it's based off of your criteria and your background and, and everything. This is the type of company that you'll send your CDL in. They'll run it. They'll see if their insurance could take you in. And if so, you're good to go. She said they're located out of Washington State. Now, I'm not sure. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure if I could, if, if I got a definitive answer, if you have to be out of Washington state to get hired, I'm assuming if you're an over the road driver with them, I'm sure that they probably might be hiring you out of different states, but it says here in the Facebook that they're hiring from Washington state. So I'm, I'm assuming you're going to have to be from Washington state in order to get up with this company. Red Star Logistics. Never heard of them. I haven't heard of them. It's, again, always be wary of these Facebook posts, man. You know, they come in, they, they put in the good information. Like, for example, they pay detention breakdown pay they say they got all automatic trucks from 2021 good inspection bonus safety bonus direct deposit 24 hour dispatch to keep you moving and what they require an 
M a clean MVR and PSP with a driving with a clean driving record within the last year. If you want more information, the phone number is 206 669 1782. Again, do your research. If any other information that I may have, it will be in the description below. If anybody is familiar with Red Star Logistics out of Washington State, let us know in the comments below if you drove for this company or you have any type of experience with this company. If you'd like to come on and share your experience, reach out to me and we'll get you on and we'll chop it up. Again, this is a, a company that was posted in Facebook. Didn't give too much information. Sounds as though that she was talking from her house. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. Guys, tell me what you think in the comments below. Till next time, everybody. Who's next?